Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan at pag-aaralan natin ay itong sa similarity and triangle similarity theorem. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. Sige na mga anak! At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Sure mga anak ha? Okay, kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for this learning task, you have to answer each of the following. Number one. To find, uh, no, how do you find the scale factor of similar polygons? Okay? So, ngayon nyo makikita ang ating ano, calligraphy skills. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have here to find for the scale factor of similar polygons. O oh, ha, ang ganda ng sulat ni Teacher Maria. Calligraphy yan. Pinakamagandang calligraphy yan. We have, or we simply, okay, get the ratio, the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding side. Ha? Corres, corresponding sides of the polygons. O, ganun lang siya, ha? Kunin nyo lang yung corresponding, ah, uh, ratio ng corresponding sides of the polygons, then you have the scale factor. Okay, mamaya makikita nyo yung example natin yan. Okay, for number 2, illustrate or draw, okay, FAR, or triangle FAR, is similar to triangle PIN. Then, complete the statement. Okay? So, kailangan natin i-illustrate or i-drawing. So, meron na ako ditong triangle. I-name na lang natin sila. Okay? Suppose this is F-A-R and this is P-I-N. Okay? Yung corresponding na angle, congruent sila ha. So, if this is angle F, congruent siya kay angle P. Kasi yun yung ka-correspond niya. Okay? Si angle A, correspond siya kay angle I, kaya sila ay congruent. So, si angle I, and then si angle R, okay, corresponding kay angle N, kaya sila ang congruent. Okay? Now, we have the proportionality. Okay, F, A, asan yun? F, A, and P, I. Okay? So, eto hindi pwede magkapalit-palit mga anak ha. Okay, then we have AR and IN. AR over IN. And then FR. So, FR over PN. Okay, bawal magkabaliktad. Ah, oh, pwedeng magkabaliktad. Basta yung sa denominator, magkakabaliktad din. Kunyari, RA nilagay nyo dito. NI dapat dito, ha? Hindi pwedeng yung sa taas lang. Dapat magka-correspond yung ibinigay ninyong mga sides. Okay, now let's go to this, number 3. Complete the following statement, okay? If PQRS is similar to TUV, then angle S is congruent to what? So, eto yun, di ba? Si angle S is congruent to this one. Kay angle W. Okay, angle P is congruent to, syempre, kay angle T. Kasi sila ang corresponding angles. Okay, now let's have SRWV. SR and then WV. So, we have here, ano kaya ang pwede pa natin? Isa lang ang kailangan natin, di ba? So, we have SP. Okay, o yun yung pipiliin ko. And then WT. Okay, WT. Pero, pwede nyo din gamitin yung ibang mga side sa pwedeng PQ, TU, uh, RQ, VU, ha? Kasi dahil similar naman na ito, sinabi, automatic, ang mga sides nila ay proportion na. 
Okay, so let's have now the value of x. Paano natin kukunin? Since we have here 8, so SR and then WV. So we have 8, wait, we have 8 over 10. Okay, ito yung magka-correspond equals to 12 over x. Okay, so para gawin to, we just have to do yung cross multiplication, di ba? So, you will have your 8x is equal to 120. Now, to find for x, you just simply divide it by 8. Okay. So, you will have here now x equals to, ilan nito? This is 1 and then uh, 15. So, the value is 15. Uh, so, ganun lang ha, mga anak ang gagawin ninyo. Okay. Yung side na to, Okay, over yung side na to, and then 12 yung side na to, over yung side na ito. Okay, to solve. Dapat yung magka-corresponding side yung gagawin ninyo. So, our x here is 15. Now, the scale factor of uh, PQRS, which is similar to TUVW. Okay, kanina sa number 1, sinabi natin, ba? You just have to get the ratio. Okay, so we will have here SR, kunin natin ito, over WV. SR is 8 over 10, right? Okay, so, para makuha yung scale factor, ayan, ayan, kaya lang kailangan natin i-simplify. Divisible ito by 2, kaya ito ay magiging 4 over 5. So, the scale factor is 4 over 5. Okay, naintindihan ba? Mm -hmm. And then... Gusto nyong i-check, o, tignan natin dito pag 12 over 15. Kay uh, RQ, kaya sinabi ko lahat pwede, ba RQ and VU. Si RQ ay 12 over 15, ba So, divisible by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, it's really 4 over 5 yung scale factor niya. In number 4, Okay, we have here, in the given figure, triangle ADE, ito, ADE is similar to triangle ABC, ABC. Which triangle similarity theorem justice, uh, justifies this similarity? Okay, so sinasabi na similar na sila, pero kailangan natin i-justify kung anong similarity yung ginamit. Now, show proof to your answer. So, meron tayong two column proof dito na alam kung ayaw na ayaw ninyo, ha? Pero kaya lang yan. Okay, so we have here, ang, ang given lang na meron tayo, eto. Nakita nyo yung angle. So, we'll, we have angle D. Okay, is congruent to angle B. Okay, so we have here angle D is congruent to angle B as our first statement. Anong reason? Given. Okay, next for number 2, kayo na lang maglagay ha. Okay, dahil similar nga sila, okay, then meron tayo ditong, okay, etong ang tawag dito, segment na ito, dinidivide niya proportionally yung dalawang sides ng triangle. Ito, saka ito. Ngayon, kung ganun ng case, okay, ito ay parallel dito sa third side na to. Kung ibabrowse niyo yung mga leap module ninyo, okay, mapapansin ninyo etong theorem na ito. Okay, so we have here, DE is parallel to BC. Okay, what theorem is that? That is converse of, okay, converse of basic proportionality theorem. Proportionality theorem. Okay. Oh ha. Again, base, basic ano uh, converse of basic proportionality theorem. Sinasabi kasi nito na if a line divide two side of a triangle, eto yung dalawang side, and then proportionally, then the line is parallel to the third side. So ibig sabi nito parallel dito. Kaya nagkaroon ka ng parallel lines. Bakit ba kasi natin kailangan na mapatunayan na parallel lines sila? Kasi pag may parallel lines ka, makakabuo ka ngayon ng dalawang corresponding angles. Ano yan? Ito. Ito. Teka. Saka ito. Okay. Ibig sabihin, si angle E, okay, is 
congruent to angle C. Okay? Bakit? Or sabihin na muna natin. Oh, hindi. Okay na yan. Angle E is congruent to angle C. Why? Kasi corresponding angles sila. At ang corresponding angles are congruent. So, we have corresponding angles are congruent. Okay? Kasi di ba meron tayong parallel lines cut by a transversal line. At yung corresponding angles na mabubuo doon ay congruent. Okay? So, meron na tayong angle. Wait. We have na angle. Angle. Okay? So, kailangan pa natin ng isang angle. Ano yun? Ito. Yung angle A or yung angle DAE. Angle DAE. Asan yun? Ito. Angle D, A, D, A, E is congruent to angle B, A, C. Angle B, A, C. Okay. O, bakit? Kasi, iisa lang naman sila ng angle, di ba? So, that is re reflexive. Okay. Property. Reflexive property. And, ayan na, you have A na. So, we can say that triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC using AAA similarity theorem. Ayan. For number 5, using the figure below, name the three similar triangles. Okay, and then write proportion that exists among corresponding parts of the similar triangles. Okay, let's name the three triangles. We have their triangle CAB. Okay, triangle CAB. Ito yun ha, C going to A, going to B. Okay, that's the triangle. It's similar to ADB. Ito yung mas maliit na triangle. A, D, B. And, syempre, yung mas malaking triangle yung isa. Which is a C, D, A. So, triangle C, D, A. Okay. And now, let's go to proportionality, ha? Ito, wait. Kaya na natin to kahit wala. O, oh, hindi tingnan yung figure. Tingnan nyo lang yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga letters, ha? Yun yung technique. Okay. Let's uh, find out this one for letter B. Okay, so we have here, o yung unang dalawa muna, letter B, triangle C, A, B, is similar to triangle A, D, B. Okay, so we have C, A over A, D, okay, is uh, proportional or equal to C, A, A, D, we have A, B, D, B, A, B, D, B. And equals to C, B, sorry, C, B, <laughs> wait, okay, and C, B, and A, B. Nakita nyo yung strategy? C, A, unang dalawa, unang dalawa din dito, A, D. And then A, B, second, third, second, third din dito, D, B. And then first, last, C, B, a, B. First, last, first, last. Okay? Next, we have C, C, A, B naman. Triangle C, A, B naman. Na proportional naman kay triangle C, D, A. Okay? So, C, A over C, D. First, second equals to A, B. And then, C, A. Uh, second, third, second, third din dun sa kabila. And then, C, B. And then, C, A. First, last, first, last. Okay. For the last one, we have A, D, B. Or triangle A, D, B is similar to triangle C, D, A. Okay. So, we have A, D over C, D. First, second, first, second. Okay. D, B. <laughs> Sorry, D, B. Wait. Ayan. 
DB over DA, second third, second third, equals to AB and then CA. A, B, first, last, C, A, first, last. Ayan na. So, ganyan lang yung gagawin sa engagement part ng inyong mga modules. Ngayon, kung natulungan ko kayo at naintindihan nyo itong video na ito, pasensya na mga anak yung energy ha. Masama yung pakiramdam ni Teacher Maria. And kailangan ko kasing gawin to para meron kayong maging guide dyan. Kaya, huwag nyong kalimutang mag-comment ha para maapit ang video na ito. At syempre naman, nakita din naman ng iba. Gawin nyo yung part nyo na yon para naman ma-up itong video natin. Okay? At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!